are now going to have a look at an aspect of TMS Web that is easily overlooked. I'm talking about alignment and anchors. Of course, we know align and anchor both properties from developing desktop applications with Delphi. You can use them to accommodate for windows being resized, to design forms for different screen resolutions, and of course, in order to develop an application that's also available in full screen and in Windows mode. It would be so great to have a line and anchor on the web. Because obviously everybody is talking about responsive web design. And responsive web design is exactly the approach to make web pages render well on a variety of devices in window or screen sizes. It really doesn't come as a surprise that TMS Web comes with a solution for responsive web design out of the box. If you want, you can get started right away. Simply use the Delphi form designer and use the align and anchor property of its components. Furthermore, there's a splitter component, TWeb Splitter, that allows you to resize aligned areas. And of course, you have grouping components like TWeb Panel and TWeb Grid Panel. All these components are rather known to you because they also exist in the VCL. However, and this makes TMS Web so very powerful, you may also use existing CSS and HTML that a web designer has prepared for you. Here you see an example for alignment with TMS Web and the Delphi form designer. We have a left panel and a child panel on the right, and the child panel on the right is divided between a left aligned panel and another right aligned panel. What you can also find is splitter component. And just as you're used from building VCL applications, the left panel has the align property set to AL left, and the child panel has set the alignment to AL client. The splitter component, of course, of TWeb Splitter is also set to IL left. Running the application, you see that it behaves exactly as expected. One panel on the left and the child panel on the right, resizing when I move the window. Also, the splitter component allows us to resize the left aligned panel. This is how easy you can build a responsive design using the Delphi form designer and TMS Web. However, this is not all. You also have anchor properties. For example, this edit is anchored to the top right corner, and this control is anchored to the left, top, and right. Whereas this memo has the anchor set to left, top, right, and bottom. Changing the size of the window shows you how perfectly the anchoring works. This way, you can easily build responsive forms for data entry. And while we're talking about data entry, we have the grid panel component. The grid panel component allows you to define a certain number of rows and columns and place any component in these cells. Of course, these controls can be panels again and you can build a structure inside of a cell. This example is rather easy. We have labels in the first column and we have edit fields in the second column. So this is yet another example how easy it is to build a form for data entry with TMS Web. And as we're developing a Delphi application, of course we have designer support for context menu to add columns, remove columns, add rows, remove rows, and we can resize everything easily. Finally, as you might have guessed, the grid panel of course has an alignment property so you can build it responsive. So you see, a little thing like two properties can change a whole lot to make a web framework really powerful.